Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. With the Sim Update 15, the Airbus A320 Neo by Enables is available, which is the enhanced version of the default Airbus A320 Neo, which comes with the Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is going to be another video in which I'm going to tell you about the cockpit lights. Obviously, if you are familiar to this plane and familiar to the Microsoft Flight Simulator or any other flight simulator, you will know how to control the cockpit lights. But for the beginners, obviously, it's a bit difficult. Let me just uh, take you through it. So right now, I'm at the runway. And if you just go and look at the overhead panel, maybe I can just press Alt-L to have this flashlight. You will see this uh, dome light. So if you turn on the dome light, the cockpit will get bright because uh, the dome light is at the back and you can see it in the cockpit. You have to, you know, do lots of camera movement in order to show this light. Okay, so you have this, uh, this control which makes the uh, cockpit really bright. Um, this dome light is actually used when the plane is parked at the gate and um, after the pushback, when you start the engines and uh, you don't have to interact with the ground staff, you turn off this light because uh, it enables the ground staff to basically look in the cockpit. So you can turn it off after the pushback. Uh, there are two settings. It's uh, dim and then it's maximum. So you have this control. Uh, so this is one thing which I just wanted to tell you. So if I'm doing uh, flights in the night, the moment I turn on the battery, and I turn on the APU. I turn on the dome light so that everything is clear. And after the pushback, when I'm ready to taxi, I turn off the light. That's it. This is one controller. Then you have another control over here. Let me just show you for the overhead panel. And uh, this is actually the brightness for the backlights of the overhead panel. So you can just uh, use this control to change the brightness of the overhead panel. Now coming back to this place, to the captain side, a few things uh, we just want to do just to make it more bright. If you raise this, uh, you will see these two controls. Uh, this is for the floodlight, for the navigation display, uh, for the eCam. And if I just turn it on, you'll see this floodlight over here. So this is one thing. And then you have uh, brightness for the pedestal. So if you decrease or increase the pedestal, you can control the lights over here. So this is another light control that you have with you. Then for the FCU and for the EFIS, um, these are the two knobs. If you just look at over here. This actually changes the backlight over here. You can just like dim it and you can just like maximize it. I always like to keep it like this. When uh, this background totally turns black, it looks nice. That's it. And uh, for the backlight, you have this control. So you can change the brightness over here. Then on the pedestal, you will also see two knobs over here for the upper ECAM and for the lower ECAM. You change the position of the knobs and the brightness will increase and decrease. I also keep it in the middle because then um, the screen is kind of black. Looks nice uh, when I'm flying in the night. Then you have uh, this altimeter. You can change the brightness of this altimeter. It's too, it was too bright right now. It, it, when you always start the plane, it's too bright. In the morning, it makes sense. But uh, in the night or low sunlight, you would like to ad adjust the ad uh, brightness of this display. Then for the MCDU, you have uh, brightness over here. You can brighten it up or you can dim the light. I always keep the background of the screens kind of black right now. You can see. You can see the backlight, but I just like to dim it for both of the sides. You can do it for the co-pilot and for the captain side. This is another control. Then uh, talking about the navigation display and the primary flight display, you have the controls over here. You can adjust the brightness and uh, 
you can also adjust the brightness of the navigation display. So you have two knobs. Uh, basically, the bigger one dims or brightens uh, the weather. Let me see if uh, the weather radar is on. Yes, it's on. Let me try changing. Actually, the clouds are not so heavy. Let me just try to change the weather. And then I will show you. So if I go to weather, and if I set it to rain, and I close it, now you can see clouds getting updated. So uh, if I move this uh, bigger dial, you will see the brightness of the weather changing. So I always keep this all in the middle and plus uh, for the primary flight display, I also keep it in the middle. Because in the night, it becomes too bright. So this is kind of good. Then another thing, over here, if uh, you look at the co-pilot side, you will see this floodlight for the pedestal. You can also change it because in the night, uh, when it's too dark, it gets difficult to basically see the speed brakes and the flaps. So during the flight, I always keep the light to this level so that I can at least see where the parking brake is and the flap lever and uh, for the speed brakes. Then at the back, if you go up, you will see another light. This is the reading light. So for the captain and for the co-pilot, you can also move these knobs to get the reading light. So now you can see the seats a bit bright because you have got the reading lights. So during the flight, if you don't want dome lights and you want your area to be bright, if I open the tray, will it uh, show or not? Let's see. Yeah. Now you can see the table is a bit bright. So you can always turn this light on and off. Then uh, the last control for the console, you have the light over here. You can set it to bright or dim and that's it. So the light controls are easy. One last thing I just forgot to tell. And uh, it's the brightness of the electronic flight bag. You can change the brightness of the electronic flight bag. And during the flight, if you don't even need it, you can turn it off. Similarly, you can change the brightness on the co-pilot side. And uh, plus, the co-pilot also has a light over here. So <laughs> there are so many light uh, features for this plane. You can interact with them, and you can adjust the lighting of the plane. So with this, I would just like to end my video. And um, if you have got any questions, you can ask me in the comment section if you want to add anything to this video. The comment section is there for you. Uh, before going, I would just like to tell you that I'm also in Twitch. I try to do some live flights over there. So you can join me on Twitch and you can also join me on my Discord channel. And uh, just to tell you that I will be doing more um, tutorials for this plane in the coming few days. So do subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed so that you can get the alerts. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.